feels pretty good. 60 came up pretty quick. Hey everybody, Brooks and Jack Towns here. Today is Model Y collection day or delivery day. They said delivery was on Tuesday and they called and said, hey Brooks, your car's ready. You want to come pick it up now? So gathered all my stuff last night, had a late night, actually had to switch out the wheels. Put it on. Show it on there? No. Well, I don't know how to do that. Sure. Okay. Keep going. Okay, now do it. Now go diagonal. Sure. On my Model S, because I had the lightweight arachnids, which are over here, you really can't see them. But uh, these are the wheels that came with the car. I'm actually trading in the Model S. It's a direct swap for the Model Y. Both worth about sixty-six thousand uh, dollars. So even with everything that's going on the world with this coronavirus, this was bought a long time ago. I got to take delivery. I'm kind of excited to do it. And then uh, let's head out to Tesla now, and then get the Model Y. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some performance tests, see what the Model Y does, and then maybe I'll do some more videos uh, comparing it to my Model Three. All right, so let's hop in the Model S and get moving. This car I've had about four years. We've got 49,000 miles on the car. It's been really, really reliable, uh, but it's time. I'll drive the Model 3, my wife will drive the Model, L Model Y, and then when the Plaid Mode Model S comes out, then I'll think about trading either the 3 for that, or if the software update comes out for this car, the current Model S, it makes it way, way faster. Maybe I'll swap out sooner, but let's head out to Tesla and go grab the Y. All right, so last drive in the Model S P100D. I'm on the 19 inch original tires that came in the car so i never actually drove on them but they are four years old i'm kind of wondering if it still sticks after all that time i'm thinking no i got i charged this up all the way and uh, i'm gonna do a quick run let's see if this thing can hold down the power for a quick uh, zero to 60 run i'm really curious four year old tires never been used full charge here we go oh no yeah there's 60. it actually spun quite a bit I didn't even launch the car either, but here, we got a red light. Let me try one more time, see what happens. Let me go ahead and put it in Ludacris Plus for one last run. Driving, Ludacris Plus, max battery power. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Great. Listen, don't get a break. Don't put your phone in here and do launch mode, jeez. Uh, actually, it launched pretty good and spun actually a bunch. These tires, these old tires don't stick, but I gotta tell you, I'm gonna miss, I'm really gonna miss launch mode, so, oh well. There it is, the Tesla Y. All right, so just picked up the Tesla Model Y. First drive here. First thoughts, I feel like I'm in the three for sure because everything's basically the same in here. Definitely sitting higher up. Uh, and of course, this is the performance. We're at 88%. And 21 inch wheels on this car. And it feels quick. I don't think it had that abrupt feel that the three has. Let's see, let's give it its first go. Yeah, I think they I think they reduced the abruptness, but it definitely starts moving. It actually sounds a little different too. Oh yeah, this car moves really smooth. The car is pretty quiet too. Not hearing a lot of wind noise. In the Model X I used to hear a lot of wind noise, but not so much right now, just cruising. All right, so just brought the Model Y home and we're out to do some performance testing. Here it is. So there it is. I'm actually charging up right now, trying to get to 100%. We're at like 99%. I think that's plenty. There we go. We got the dual motor performance. That means it's the two motor and the performance, the fast one. Look at the carbon fiber work right here on the spoiler back here. We got the 21 inch turbine wheels and the multi coat red metallic in the Model Y. This car looks right here's the Model 3 I got and uh, these are the 20 inch performance wheels and these are 21s. The range actually said it goes down because of these 
Let's see. I'm at like 99%. It still says it's got 30 minutes to charge. But let's see. It's at 280 miles. Still 30 minutes to charge. So maybe the range is a little more than 280 when we get fully charged. I'm not going to wait. We're at 99%. Let's head out and see what this thing does. 0 to 60, quarter mile. All right, so we're showing 280 miles. That's like 99%. It still said it had some more charging to do, but with the Model 3, the performance doesn't degrade down to like 70%, so it doesn't really matter for this test. Uh, I got the V-Box and the Draggy all set up. Let's see what this thing does. See, and I think Tesla says it does 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. That's usually pretty conservative. I can tell you from my driving around just from Tesla back to here, it doesn't feel as quick as the Model 3. It feels like they're holding it back off the line a little bit, uh, but on the top end, it feels to really start pulling. So this could be a case of zero to 60 is not quite there, but the top end pulling power is there. I'm hoping this thing busts off an 11 something in the quarter mile, but the medium pulling power, it definitely moves when you, when you get on it. This car is, feels pretty, pretty quick. Same, 3.4 seconds. All right, so here we go. Let's give it the quarter mile test. See what this thing does. We're off. Ah, it feels pretty good. 30. 60 came up pretty quick. 60. Here we go. All right, so that's a wrap of my first video with the Tesla Model Y Performance benchmarking, zero to 60, quarter mile, half mile. I gotta say it's right on par with what Tesla says this car does. Tesla quotes zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. With rollout, we got 3.42 seconds was the best. Impressive is on the top end, it pulls and it keeps pulling harder. And if you look at the mile an hour, just about 115 miles an hour with the Tesla Model Y. That's what my Tesla Model 3 does. I think I've hit 116 miles an hour. From a roll, these two cars are gonna be incredibly close. Now, what does that mean? Well, the Model Y has gotta weigh quite a few hundred pounds more than the Tesla Model 3. I'm gonna do some more comparisons later on, comparing the overall size, but it's quite a bit bigger. And if you do the calculations, well, power to weight. This has gotta be making more power than the Model 3. I have the adapter, one of these, that's plugged into my Model 3 that measures the actual output in kilowatts. Now, if I put that in the Model Y, I'm gonna see if it fits. And if it does, I'll be able to do direct power comparisons between the Model 3 and the Model Y. Some more comments on the performance, zero to 63.4, but traps almost the same as this car. I think Tesla's definitely holding back on that initial grunt, that initial hit that this Tesla Model Y has. I foresee a software update coming that's gonna bump the Tesla Model Y down into the low three second range from zero to 60. And of course, if that happens, we're gonna see that 11.9 quarter mile drop down to about 11.7. Now that being said, this car has the big wheels on it. And if you look what Tesla quotes range, they drop 35 miles of range off this car by putting the big wheels on. So to me, that means these must be, while they look great, and they're supposed to be for performance, they must be really, really heavy. So I'm imagining when someone gets the Stealth Model Y performance out and does some testing, I think we're gonna see some better times. I'm betting we're gonna see zero to 60 come down to the 3.3 range and quarter mile probably in 11.7 to 11.8. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and get a thumbs up and if you hit the subscribe button, you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Drop in the comments below 
What else do you want to see with the Tesla Model Y? I'm thinking about doing direct comparisons between the two. Uh, build quality, I know a lot of people are asking about it. I'll get into that later on. Uh, but if you want to see more performance tests or more inside look at the Tesla Model Y, let me know in the comments. And uh, I got a lot of time at home with this uh, coronavirus stuff. So uh, I guess I'll be making some more videos. Everyone, I hope everyone stays safe out there. And uh, do what everyone needs you to do to keep this virus at bay. Social distancing, whatever it takes, let's get this done and let's move on and get past and get uh, back to our lives. Thanks for watching.